In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about azithromycin, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you're about to start this medication or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer some commonly asked questions in my clinics. What's the difference between azithromycin and amoxicillin? Can it be used to treat COVID-19? Does it affect my heartbeat? And can it cause deafness or ringing in the ears? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. And if you stick around, I will answer these at the end. So this video will help you to understand more about azithromycin and all its side effects. So let's get started. So what is azithromycin? It's a medicine called an antibiotic. It's used to treat infections, including chest infections such as pneumonia, ear, throat and nose infections such as sinus infections, skin infections, Lyme disease, and some sexually transmitted infections. It can also be used long-term to prevent chest infections in people who keep getting them. So how does it work? Azithromycin is from a group of medicines called macrolide antibiotics and macrolide antibiotics work by killing the bacteria that cause the infection. So who may not be able to take azithromycin? Now it's not suitable for some people, so to make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to azithromycin or any other medicine. If you have liver or kidney problems, if you have heart problems, including irregular heartbeats, if you've ever had diarrhea when you have taken antibiotics before, if you have myasthenia gravis, because azithromycin can make the symptoms of this muscle weakening condition worse, if you have diabetes, because azithromycin liquid contains sugar. Now, how do you take azithromycin? Now, it comes as tablets, capsules or liquid formulation the usual dose is 500 milligrams a day for three to 10 days, depending on the infection being treated. For some infections, you'll be given a one-off higher dose of one gram or two grams. And the dose can be lower if you have liver or kidney problems. You'll usually take azithromycin once a day and try to take your medicine at the same time each day. Swallow tablets and capsules whole with a drink of water and if you're taking azithromycin capsules, take them at least one hour before food or two hours after eating. If you have tablets or liquid, you can take them with or without food. And don't take medicines for indigestion at least two hours before or after you take this medicine. So what are the common side effects? Feeling sick or being sick, diarrhea, losing your appetite, headaches, feeling dizzy or tired, or changes to your sense of taste. If these side effects bother you or don't go away, please speak to your healthcare provider. Now, what are the serious side effects? Call a doctor if you have a faster or irregular heartbeat. If the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow, or you have pale poo or dark pee, these can be signs of liver or gallbladder problems. If you get ringing in your ears called tinnitus, temporary hair loss, or if you feel unsteady on your feet called vertigo. If you have severe pain in your stomach or back, this can be a sign of inflammation of the pancreas. Or if you have diarrhea, perhaps with muscle cramps that contain blood or mucus and call the emergency services if you have chest pain this could be a sign of a heart attack. And of course, you could get a serious allergic reaction. Now, these are not all the side effects of azithromycin. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Now, what are the cautions with other medicines? Now, tell your doctor if you are taking any of these medicines before you start azithromycin. And acids for indigestion ergotamine or dihydroergotamine for migraines, warfarin to help prevent blood clots, cyclosporin or tacrolimus, which stops your immune system overreacting, colchicin used for gout and some other inflammatory conditions, 
digoxin for some heart problems, rifabutin, which is an antibiotic, nalfinavir, a medicine for HIV, or if you take statin medicines to lower your cholesterol, such as simvastatin or atorvastatin. Now, I do recommend watching my video on atorvastatin side effects, which I will leave a link for below. Now, some commonly asked questions in my clinic include what's the difference between azithromycin and amoxicillin? Now, there are three main differences despite both of these drugs working by killing bacteria. The first one is that azithromycin belongs to a class of drugs called macrolide antibiotics, as I mentioned earlier. And amoxicillin belongs to a class called beta-lactam antibiotics, such as penicillin. The second difference is azithromycin and amoxicillin can be used to treat several of the same conditions, including bronchitis, sinusitis, pneumonia, ear, skin, throat, and lower respiratory infections. But the differences include azithromycin also being used to treat gonorrhea, mycobacterium avium complex, and pelvic inflammatory disease. And amoxicillin can be used to treat urinary tract infections and H. pylori infections, which can cause stomach ulcers. And the third is the greatest difference, which is how often you need to take them. Azithromycin is taken once per day for one to five days, depending on the condition being treated. And amoxicillin is taken two or three times per day for 10 to 14 days. Now, another question I am asked is whether azithromycin can be used to treat COVID-19. Azithromycin is the most consistently studied antibiotic for use in treating patients infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. It was found that it doesn't improve mortality, which means death, after 28 days, or affect the clinical course for hospitalized adults with COVID-19. And in outpatient adults with no symptoms or mild COVID-19 symptoms, azithromycin did not reduce death, risk of hospitalization, or disease progression. Does azithromycin affect the heartbeat? Yes, it can affect your heartbeat, and it's called QT prolongation, which can cause a fast or irregular heart rhythm, and symptoms include feeling fluttering in your chest, gasping while sleeping or fainting. Individuals who already have heart conditions are at a greater risk of developing this complication than others, so it's best not to take it with other medicines that have the same side effect. So tell your doctor if you're taking medicines that can affect your heartbeat, including any medicines for an irregular heartbeat, such as amiodrone or sotalol, antidepressants such as citalopram, antipsychotics used to treat mental health conditions, some anti-sickness medicines such as domperidone, or some antibiotics such as moxifloxacin. And lastly, the question about can it cause deafness or ringing in the ears? There are research papers that suggest that using macrolide antibiotics was significantly associated with tinnitus, which was likely to be dependent on the dose taken and how long it was taken for. And in addition to this, the manufacturers of azithromycin, Sandoz, revealed that their post-marketing surveillance after the clinical trials, deafness was reported as a common side effect. Now I will provide the link to the studies below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week and hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified about new videos and please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you've enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. And you can also check out my other videos or playlist.